Hello, I'm Timothy Jordan, and this is your update about the coolest developer news from Google in the last two weeks. Android 7.0 Nougat has begun rolling out to users. For more on what's included, how we're rolling it out, and what's next, check out the post linked in the description below. There's a new Street View renderer in the Google Maps JavaScript API that brings rendering improvements and better mobile support. Street View helps make apps more unique and exciting by giving users a sense of what it's like to visit a place in real life. Check out the post for all the improvements, including before and after screen caps. The open source version of Google's Santa Tracker has been updated with the Android and web experiences that ran last December. We extended, enhanced, and upgraded our code, and you can see how we used our developer products, including Firebase and Polymer, by following the link below. Check out this post for highlights from the latest release of TF Slim. The TF Slim library provides common abstractions which enable you to define models quickly and concisely while keeping the model architecture transparent and its hyperparameters explicit. And it keeps getting better. Also from TensorFlow, we're open sourcing TensorFlow model code for generating news headlines on annotated English GigaWord, which is a data set often used in summarization research. Check out the post for details and the GitHub link. Stackdriver is great for troubleshooting issues in production cloud applications. And now it has logs panel integration. Not only can you gather production application state and link to its source, you can also view the raw logs associated with your Google App Engine projects all on one page. More details and a screenshot are on the post. I've got two Google Cloud Platform updates for Java developers. First, the beta release of two new build tool plugins, one for Apache Maven and another for Gradle. These plugins allow you to test your applications locally and then deploy them to the cloud from the command line interface or through integration with an IDE such as Eclipse and IntelliJ. And on that note, you can now use the new Google Cloud tools for IntelliJ plugin to deploy your application in App Engine Standard and App Engine Flexible, and use Google Stackdriver Debugger and Google Cloud Source repositories without leaving that IDE. Here's another bundle of posts for the Google Cloud Platform. These are about working with Windows workloads. Everything from setting up a Windows server and SQL server on Google Compute Engine to cloud tools for Visual Studio and PowerShell. Check out all three posts linked below. Don't forget to subscribe and share. I'm Timothy Jordan, and I'll see you next week.